All right. Hey, hey, Sammy Du, the real estate guru, coming to you live from the Precious World office studios. And I uh, wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about real estate today and uh, on the subject of having a, I'm going to demonstrate to you a live call uh, with one of my mentees um, that uh, I want to show you the importance of having a mentor. Essentially, and, and 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 you know, don't think anyone's trying to sell you anything, or um, put you in another course or anything like. You you don't need a course; you need a coach. You don't need a course; you need a coach. And this is why it will shorten your learning curve. It will save you a lot of credibility. And uh, I want to show you this this live call that I took uh, for uh, one of my mentees uh, to help him. Uh, through, you know, getting his first deal. So, hey, if you hadn't gotten your first deal or even your second deal, you don't have a trend in the business or you're just still kind of feeling uncomfortable uh, getting your business off the ground, uh, you know, it is nothing wrong with asking for help. Uh, get help. Uh, I tell you, every seasoned investor that I know, wealthy ones, not so wealthy ones, or, or, but basically ones that are steady in the game, all have partners and mentors, all of them. So if you think that you don't need one in this game and you expect to be successful or wealthy, uh, you might want to think again. <laughs> you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that wheel was trying to be invented and it didn't happen. And it hasn't happened. And maybe even while we're looking, while you're looking at the video here today. So I wanted to show you this live call that we did. Uh, I, let me set this up for a minute. Uh, I'm going to share a screen uh, with you. Give me a second. I want to share this screen with you. That um, a, a mentee of mine uh, that... Uh, you know, he, he saw me in one of the videos, uh, much like one of you're looking at now, I guess, uh, reached out to me and asked for, for help. And uh, he uh, agreed to the terms of me uh, helping him out. And, um, you know, we're trying to get him uh, going. And so, what, first of all, a great credit to him is that he did some things right away where uh, we were able to get a contract uh, within days <laughs> of his uh, conversation with me. Uh, all, all due to his effort, but of course I had to, you know, help him through not only uh, the negotiations, the analytics of the, of the deal, but the negotiations of the deal, as well as even how to draw up what we negotiated. And I also am helping him with uh, what, uh, we decided we want the exit strategy to be. So I want to share uh, uh, this uh, this uh, ad that uh, we, we put together. I, I put it together for him. Property in Atlanta, uh, Texas. It's about, uh, I know I'm in Texas. I'm in the Austin area, uh, but this is like five or six hours away from me going up towards Texarkana, which is about six hours from here. So uh, this is not a, a close deal. Now he lives up closer to that area. And uh, when he identified uh, the lead, um, you know, he gave me a call and, and we began to vet it out to see if this would be a great deal. So uh, you can kind of see here, it's on a little less or a little bit more than a half acre uh, lot. Um, ARV is about, you know, north of $100,000. Uh, we've got a comp that actually shows, you know, maybe about 122 to 120. Uh, we have this as a purchase uh, acquisition to be a, what, what's, what, what's known in the street is called a subject to. Uh, there are some le legal terms in Texas. We call it an assumption transaction in Texas legally uh, by basically taking over uh, the mortgage and assuming the payments of that property. 
And uh, in this particular situation, this lady owns the property uh, by way of inheritance. Her, her mom passed uh, somewhere a little less than a year ago. So the property's been vacant. She had not been able to maintain uh, making the mortgage payments on the property. So she's several months behind. She apparently had lost her job due to some type of layoff as well. She's also behind in taxes. And, you know, property is a pretty old property. It's a 1940 built in 1940 all original stuff is 3 1 1900 square feet um and um basically needs, needs a lot of work nothing extraordinary about this it's a um, decent property on a nice size lot in the in the, uh, the one unique thing about this is in a, in a fairly remote area and so my mentee is getting a number of calls on it, but uh, he's uh, honestly, he's not doing exactly what I'm telling him to do because it's one thing getting folks interested in the property, but it's another thing getting folks interested in a property that actually really wants the property that's in that area. And uh, you, you, so you, it, it takes a certain type of buyer, takes a certain type of a person that will want to work in a remote area like that. This is in a remote area of Texas. So I also want to uh, show you a key here. It requires $4,000 non-refundable earnest money or option. Option is a Texas item that is also non-refundable. Uh, gives you the ability in Texas to opt out for no reason at all. Uh, as, as long as the, you as a buyer and the seller agrees that you, you have that opportunity. And of course has our, our contact information. So um, that's the ad that um, I've asked him to put the ad out exactly like this. I understand he's done some modifications here and there, you know, kind of some rookie mistake or whatever. So what happens is you start getting calls uh, from folks that basically are tire kicker calls, calls that are uh, pretty much a waste of your time as a seller. And to be frank, uh, in this case, this call is also a waste of both parties' time because of uh, the, the, this call was a call coming from another novice. And, um, you know, had, for instance, had uh, this novice seen that, hey, this deal we're requiring, um, you know, $4,000 uh, to go on the contract. I'm going to tell you, just from a seasoned guy, you know, I've done a little north of 100 transactions over the course of the four years. And um, these are some things that we put in to try to filter out all of the wholesalers that's reaching out trying to get part of the deal. Uh, there's nothing wrong with wholesalers getting part of the deal. don't have a problem with that. But if it's not designed for that, you should be able to recognize some of those things up front. And in this case, it's not really designed for that. That's why uh, the reason you ask for that non-refundable deposit is you're, you're screening out and you're letting wholesalers know that unless you got the money to go on the contract and tie us up, uh, you, you know, we're not going to do business with you. So for one, a novice, a rookie should have been able to identify that to say, you know what, this is probably not one that I should really call on. Uh, these may be some other folks trying to wholesale a deal. And uh, so this is not a lead that is a quality lead for me to spend my time and work on. Uh, because we know that in most cases, wholesalers are not going to come up with any money, right? Uh, nothing wrong with that. That's the way that wholesale business works. Uh, although there, I'm, I do have some serious wholesale companies in my backyard that will actually buy the deal from me and resell it. They feel that that's what they want to do. But uh, for the sake of this uh, video, I, I want you. I wanted to give you some background on what this uh, this is. And uh, now here's a call that uh, my mentee. Um, has been told that, you know, as he's fielding out the various buyers uh, for the property, if you get any that are, you know, kind of serious inquiries and, you know, wants to kind of talk numbers, three-way me in on the call, and then I'll just kind of take over the entire conversation there. This does a couple of things. First of all, it allows my mentee the comfort 
of not losing credibility with folks he's engaging with because he's letting them know that we're partners, not that I'm his mentor. We're, we're partners, we're business partners. Gives him credibility, allows him to salvage his credibility on the street while, you know, for the future. So his name should be, you know, will be recognized as, as a player eventually after, you know, we've done several deals together and we've got him kind of up to speed and warmed up. Uh, and for two, uh, you know, like I said, allows him some credibility, but this also allows him not to get tied up into something that's going to, you know, basically screw him over or, or, or not get him where he wants to be, get him tied up into something now he can't get out of because he went under another contract with somebody else and, you know, he's totally screwed with his own uh, uh, seller. So, uh Having a mentor is very important and also being able to recognize these different avenues because for one, when you get a lead, you never know what type of lead that's going to be and what your options are going to be. And you want to be able to prepare. This is the way I run my business. If I get a lead, I want to be able to find something, some kind of way to what to do with it to liquefy in some way or form. So being able to be creative is very important. And also, I also want to vet it out first before I do that. I vet it out to see what are my options on, on being able to liquidate and exit uh, with, with have an exit strategy. So this is what I've been helping this mentee with um, in this. So with that being said, I'm going to uh, start um, this, uh, this re recording of a call that we took. And I'm going to kind of, break it up a little bit in certain parts uh, so you can kind of understand a little bit mindset of what's happening and you know how how uh, how this all went down you probably find this pretty interesting so uh here we go Let's sam see. hey sam yes sir hey man i got uh, curtis on the line okay hey curtis one of my mentees, yeah. Mark, and I thought he was on the line, but apparently he was trying oh, hey, to Curtis. merge the call. Yeah. Hey, I got Sam on the line as well, my partner. Okay. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Curtis. Good afternoon. Yeah, sir. I know, sir. You too. You too, man. You too. Okay. Now, we're now uh, okay, you guys are asking for uh, 31, right? Uh. Yeah, we, we, we can probably uh, adjust that a little bit. Or did, did he talk to okay. you about that, it being a sub two or? Yes, yeah, he, yeah, that, that, yeah, he mentioned that. Yeah, that, that was, that was mm -hmm. I do think that's a little bit more attractive, but what, what, uh, how do you feel about it? Now, uh, first what I would say, the one thing that this caller did initially was was actually pretty good. He was assertive. Uh, he didn't call being timid. Uh, he was confident, at least at this point. And, uh, you know, he, he sounded kind of interesting. Uh, when he talked about the, the number of 31, um, at this time in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe he's just wanting to go ahead and cash out. He, uh, you know, or may, or may not have known about the assumption opportunity. We can go either way with it. It really doesn't matter. But uh, oftentimes assumptions are much more attractive because you don't have to use as much money to acquire the property. But uh, I want to give credit uh, to this particular caller uh, because he at least from a way, from a persona standpoint, exhibited confidence and assertion and he wasn't scurred. <laughs> now, that's one thing. But from this point, it's going to start to go downhill, and it's going to go downhill kind of fast. So uh, I want to let you hear the rest. I mean that 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 is an that is an option. Uh, but what but what, what, what we my my associates uh, we're just going to probably just look to flip it. To, to another, to, a, to somebody else, flip the contract to, to, one, to someone else, and then they can either do what, you know, do a substitute or however they want to do it. Okay. Uh, well, 
So you think it? <laughs> so that was the first clue to me that he probably did not really know what a subject two was. Uh, he tried to talk his way through it. You know, I wasn't totally sure, but that was the first thing in my mind that he probably didn't know what it was. Uh, you know, he said that's an option or whatever, but, you know, he was just trying to fumble and, and continue to stay fitted into the conversation. So we'll keep going here. You're going to do more. You're going to do it for more than 31? Well, no, well, I'm saying, uh, no, I, I mean, the, the, what from basically, basically what I did came up with doing this, just doing some rough just estimate numbers is the, uh, the, the, the max that we could probably offer you and be able to make some money, uh, make a profit of it would be, uh, 27.5. Okay. <laughs> That's just a made up number. He has no clue what he is doing. That number is a made up number. Why? Well, first of all, and you'll find out he hasn't actually seen the property. So he's just kind of going off of the ad. The ad said the ARV is $120,000. Now, do you, do you trust the ad? Not necessarily, but just for the sake of, you know, that's something to work with, we'll, we'll use that. And you want to make your offer as a wholesaler, you know, at least 70% minus repairs on that. So when he came up with the $27,000 on hour 31, uh, he, he, you know, he, he, he just made that up. He just kind of came up with, he's trying to make $3,000 if we're going to, if it's selling that 31, no clue, no clue. That, that right there already told me that up front, you know, having done, you know, over a hundred of these, that already told me right there that this guy uh, doesn't really know what he's doing, doesn't know what he's talking about. So I'm just going to continue to entertain this a little longer. Okay. With, the, with our, you know, we about 25. Because the reason why I say that is because it looks like it may need about, I don't know, maybe uh, how much you think in, in uh, uh, repairs, 50000 well, you know, it just kind of depends on it depends on whoever gets it and what their extra strategy is going to be, and it's also going to depend on the resources. So I don't I don't get too much in the weeds on the repair costs because uh, everybody's got different numbers for whatever they're doing. Well, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Well, and now, that's just based off. Now, uh, now, go ahead. Now, here's the thing, though. Uh, we're, we're not necessarily now. Um, he came up with a rep in his mind in some way or form fifty thousand dollars. Where do you get that number from? You know, kind of, kind of estimate because at the end of the day, he was asking me what the repair cost was. If you were truly a buyer, you're going to already have an assessment of what you think it was going to cost you, because repair costs vary from you know investor to investor. And it varies because everybody has their own different resources. They've got different resources from, you know, places that they buy on a regular basis that they buy regularly and do a lot of volume. They can buy at a much more discounted uh, price for one. If they have an in-house team or they have to outsource to a new team, those are two different prices. And depending on who that investor is for two, this is in a remote area. Uh, you'll find later that he's not even in the area. Uh, it, when you're working in a remote area, you know, you've got to be able to have the bandwidth to deploy your team and your resources to that area. Uh, and, and that does cost a little bit. So even though it, it may cost modestly one price, if you are working remotely, you know, just because of the travel and the distance, it might cost a little bit more. It doesn't mean it's a bad deal. It's just not really a fit for, a person that's not necessarily in that area. So long story short, this is getting, you know, just kind of getting like, you know, it's a tire kicker call if you hadn't gotten the hint yet. And it's a time waster. It's a, it's a waste of our time as well as really is a waste of his time for making a call. But we'll continue to let the call uh, go. Interested in the daisy chain, but if you're saying you just want to go ahead and buy it from us, knowing that you're going to sell it again, 
we, we definitely don't mind. But if you're looking to just kind of lock us up, uh, we're, we're, we're going to pass on that. Okay. Okay. Got you. Okay. Got you. Okay. Okay. Got you. Because what? Because what? Yeah. What? What me and my team usually do? We usually buy a buy a, a property at uh, you know seventy percent minus the ABR minus. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> okay, that was wrong. It's not seventy percent minus the AVR. Our ARV <laughs> is actually eighty RV times the seventy percent minus repairs. Okay just to help you out. Now, maybe he could have just fumbled up his words, but sometimes you just have these new folks that's just using buzzwords that they, that they went to some seminar, went to somebody's class for a minute, and I think they've gotten comfortable enough to, to, to try to put it into some language, and when you really listen to what they're saying, they have no clue what they're talking about. Now, let's just say he fumbled up on his words. Be nice, right? Okay. <laughs> That's what, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. And then from there, yeah, so that's, 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 that's what we're doing. Yeah, typical wholesaler stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you, uh, what, are, are you in that area? Are you in East Texas? I am in Dallas. You're in Dallas, okay. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, this guy's about three to four hours away from this particular property. He uh, probably not going to be the right buyer for the property, and uh, you know I'm not saying that someone can't work across the entire state of Texas or across the country, but those those statistics are much fewer. And you know if we get something like that, that would be great. But uh, for the most part, he's not going to be the buyer. But we'll let this keep going. Yeah. So yeah. Um are, are you able to actually close on it if you don't have a buyer right away? That's a key question right there. Uh, with, well, actually, it probably, would, it probably would take me, I probably would say uh, anywhere from, maybe from 14 days, 14 days to 21 days. Yeah. No, are yeah. you looking, how, how, how fast are you looking to, you looking yeah, to close a lot sooner than that? I like folks that can do it in a week. You know, basically, okay, you got to be okay. You, okay. You know, get cash ready if you're going to lock us up. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And then, but see what? Okay. So now it's just kind of getting into this fast talking of trying to say, you know, I, I'm just, you know, going to try to sell it for you. I know people. Um, pretty, 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 you know, typical of folks that don't know what they're doing. Um, and that's, you know, it's okay. I don't mind somebody having a learning curve. Don't mind someone getting into the game. I know I started out that way, but I didn't stay that way. Once I recognized that, hey, I, I got some, some knowledge from some courses and stuff that I bought, seminars, all this kind of stuff. And then I got on the street, and frankly, I got burnt a few times. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, back from back door to, you know, folks, I, I had folks telling me that uh, uh, you look like you need to be, you need to get into one of my mentoring uh courses. I mean, I had folks telling me that when I first got started. Uh, needless to say, I end up acquiring a partner and a mentor, uh, which allowed me to get my first deal and has helped me, obviously, through, you know, like I said, north of 100 transactions later. Um, but, but we'll go ahead and continue to be entertained with this. What I would do is I have other, I have other uh, buyers that I know, too, that I can refer this to. And yeah, I, I, I just looked at listen, listen, listen I, I, I know the wholesale arena and I know how uh, all of that works. And like you said, I'm, uh -huh. we're not into to having a daisy chain, man. Okay. Now, okay. You, 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 now <laughs> remember, uh, I said that already once, and I actually said it twice. And I already got the impression that, uh, you know, he, he acknowledged by saying, okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. But here's the thing, he really didn't understand. So watch this. Like said, uh -huh. We're not into to having a daisy chain, man. Okay. Okay. You, 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 know, what a daisy, you know what a daisy chain is? When, when, when you say that, explain that a little bit. <laughs> Just look, man. That's all stuff. Listen, listen. It's okay not to know something. In fact, 
versus trying to talk your way through something or trying to make something up so you can stay in the conversation and stay relevant, man, be real. Be real. If you don't know, say you don't know. That's, that's a learning opportunity for you. This, this is serious money in this business. Folks that, that plays in this space with real money, first of all, don't like their time being wasted. Don't like their time being wasted. They also are very serious about their money. And you don't want to go across trying to fake the funk and fake your way through it. You, you want to really learn your craft. And I did a video on this, but certain careers and professions always, be, after you've done the classroom work and did whatever theses and all that kind of stuff to, to learn, they still put you with someone else that's a professional for you to spend time with them. You know, a, a doctor is going to be with an intern. An intern is going to do an internship with another doctor. Uh, I know as a police officer, I was put with it because I'm a former cop. I was put with a, what's called an FTO, a field training officer. After I did 16 weeks of training at the police academy, you don't just go out with a gun and start thinking you're going to enforce the law. You're put with a mentor out there to make sure you're acclimating and applying the stuff that you learn in class in practicality on the street. Real estate's the same way. You're not going to learn everything in a class, on a course, on YouTube, university. There are just too many dynamics, too many variables that you will come across, too many different types of people that you will come across, and you want to not try to fake your way through it because for one, you're going to miss a learning opportunity. But for two, you're going to ruin your own credibility because these are people that you are trying to get to put money in your pocket. And if you look like you don't know what you're talking about, you don't have credibility, you look dishonest, whatever, it's going to be kind of hard to establish yourself. So let's, uh, he said he did not know what a daisy chain. No, no, no. He actually didn't say that. He should have said he didn't know what a daisy chain is. He just said, well, 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 well when you say that, what do you mean? Okay. Wholesalers on top of wholesalers. Wholesalers. I'm not talking about nobody finding anything. Just by the time it gets to the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's, yeah, we're not in it. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay, I got you. You haven't been doing this that long. No, I haven't. I haven't been doing it. I don't have a whole, I can't even lie and say, yeah, I'm just, you know, not at all. You know. So listen, what's really good like with this, like I said, this is a great training exercise uh, for those that are trying to get in the game, haven't gotten your deal, have maybe ha ha had some shots and just couldn't pull it off or whatever. Because it was clear, you know, after talking to him, he hadn't been doing this thing. But here's the difference between him and my mentee. My mentee is probably just as new as him in this game. But my mentee was smart enough to get a mentor so he doesn't look bad in the game. In fact, he already know. You know, I told him, when you three-way me in, you stay quiet. Let me handle the entire conversation. You listen, take notes. We'll do this several times. And as you kind of hear how some of these conversations are going and the type of folks that are calling all this kind of stuff, this is how you learn. And you can kind of try to regurgitate some of that. And if you got additional questions, you can ask. This guy that's called us obviously does not have a mentee, at least not present for this. So he was totally outscrewed, outmaneuvered. And not only that, he looks kind of bad, at least to me, because at this point, time is money. He's wasting time. He wasted his own time calling. He's definitely wasting my, my time. But this is also good for my mentee to understand how you filter through these tire kickers. These folks are just wasting your time. And let's go ahead and continue to sh uh, run this call. Oh, no, I've, been, I've, been around, I've been around a little bit, so I know you can. I already, I already know, man. It's all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. To yeah. Try trying to be nice. nice. I don't want to it, 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 Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I, I can understand if this is not something that's, you know, appealing to you. That, that, that's, that's just business. So, no, it's not appealing to me. It's wasting my time. personal with me. <laughs> I, I, I know it's just obvious. Everybody's trying to, you know, make some kind of money, some kind of way, or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, you just look in the basement just somebody to, to cash you out as soon as possible. Correct. 
yeah, that's the best, best way to shoot it for. So, okay, yeah, I, I can I can understand, and that, and then and then and that, and then that's nothing like I say. It's Why is he still talking? Personal is that you know, I'm not upset or anything. I, I know. You, you Why know, is he still talking? A lot longer than me, and and uh, I just wish I would have my my associate with me on the line, but he wasn't he wasn't for some time. Okay, so he just said he wished he had his associate on the line. Now that could be code word for that he actually has a mentor himself, which I will be proud of him for that. Uh, and next time, before he really engage himself in something, he needs to leverage that mentor. Now, there's a good chance, there's a good chance that his mentor could have told him with the ad not to call on his ad. There's a good chance, because I would have told my mentor, and I, I, my mentee, I would have told him, you know, you see that like that. That's not the type of lead you're looking for because you're not at that scale yet. You got money? Well, no. Okay, so you're not playing at that level yet. That's not the, the type of lead you want to spend your time on. As as his mentor, I already can I already know what types of leads he he needs to work with versus just a lead in real estate. It, you know, it's a big difference. And this guy, you know, if he has a mentor, I would guess that his mentor maybe told him not to waste his time on it, but this guy decided to call anyway because he thought the numbers were good, in which numbers are great, but he's trying to wholesale it, but he missed the point. Um, you know, I already said we have already got on our ad $4,000 non-refundable. Uh, that should be a hint right there. So if you're a new person and you're seeing posts on, you know, Facebook groups or wherever you find your, you know, these, these posts and you think you want to join in, you need to clearly – uh, identify what's your what's your play, and, and uh, clearly make sure you're not wanting to waste time. Now, if you want to co wholesale get straight to the point. Hey, I see you got this out there. I might have some buyers. Would you be interested in co wholesale We can say yay or nay. Don't do all this go around. What you do? Ar you know, ARP. Uh, less repairs, and I got buyers here, and I got buyers there, and all man. We've heard this stuff before, that seminar talk, that, that, that is not the way it really works. Uh, you need to know what you're doing. So let's, uh, let's keep going here. I have, well, he's not a, uh, available, but, but anyway, well, I mean, it, it looks like it. <laughs> By the way, he just said his, his associate is not available. <laughs> my, mentor, my mentee called me, and guess what? Brother here, Sammy Du, is available. <laughs> because I take my mentees serious. I'm full-time in the game. I want to see my mentees successful. I want to help them get through and establish in this game. My mentor has told me it's time to reach one, teach one. So I take it serious. I'm not some guru that's sitting up high somewhere uh, trying to, um, you know, sell courses and all this stuff. I'm a real guy in the street doing the game, and I'm just taking a handful of folks that I can kind of help at a time. Uh, so at the time in this video, uh, I, I can take on a few more, you know, uh, because I don't expect folks to stay around. And as folks either quit or grow, you know, the spots that I do kind of, kind of evolve. So uh, his mentor was not there where my mentee, and me being his mentor, I was there. That's the kind of service you'll get from me. And uh, I can't remember what time of night this call happened to be. Um, you know, he's, we, we've obviously been getting several calls on this. And uh, I definitely want to share this with you. So let's keep going. It looks like it was a deal that we could, we could do, but if you're not trying to do it, you know, the way we're trying to do it, oh then my God. What does it really make sense. What in the world right. does that mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. That uh, you'll be able to go at the speed that we're, we're wanting to go. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, okay, absolutely, okay. Uh, okay. But if something if something comes up, something changes, that's why I wish my my associate was with. But if something changes, I'm gonna I'm still gonna put this by my associate because he hadn't really had a chance to dive into it. And if something okay. and if something that we can move forward the way you wanted to, uh, we'll we'll call you. And we'll so what does this mean? He's gonna call back and continue to waste our time. Because I already told him in order to do deals, uh, this deal is going to take some money. In fact, I think that's oh, what, I'm, what I probably have to do anyway 
is just touch base with you with you anyway. And see, okay. and see if there's something that he thinks that he can, he might have something on his end. That I, that I'm not aware of. Here's the only thing that would really work <laughs> that that would allow right. us to work with you. And, and, and okay. Mark and I could make a concession on this. But it's still going to require cash on your part. Boom. Bottom line. If you're not bringing cash to the table and you're a wholesaler, you know, stay in the lane, respect other wholesalers, you know, what they're doing, go find your own. Unless you're saying you want to co-wholesale and you got ways and you're open to, to talk like that, then fine. But don't come at us like we're a motivated seller. You got to know who your targeted market is for whatever the goal you're trying to accomplish. Of course, these are what rookies do. And nobody likes to be classified as a rookie, but guess what? You know, a rookie is a rookie. You know, athletes are rookies for two years. <laughs> and But they make a lot of money eventually, you know. So um, it is nothing wrong with getting help and seeking knowledge and um you know, letting someone walk you through developing your business. And that's what I do for my mentees, as you can see in real time. And the cash is going to be required in the next week. And if you, if you can come up with, say, eight grand cash, we'll, 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 we'll be able to do some business. <laughs> I was trying to be very I nice. Like you said, if something else comes up, fine. But uh, this is, uh, you know, we, we've already got the uh, the deal. I know many other investors out there that are seasoned, like myself, would have given them a, a mouthful of four-letter words, choice words, and all that. I'm a obviously a very diplomatic, uh, seasoned uh, guy, so uh, no sense in that. But frankly, this is a waste of all of our times with the exception of my mentee to be able to see this type of experience. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get this. And, uh, you know, want to get it moved. We've got a seller that uh, needs to get it moved. So, uh, but, but like I said, if you, uh, I mean, I know the numbers are good on it, like what you're saying. And, uh, yeah. You know, there's some room, and we're going to make some room. If you can come up with eight grand cash within the next, uh, this coming week, and re ready to rock on it. I just, and and look, listen, uh, I know you just said you don't have a whole lot of experience on it. I, I'm actually a coach and mentor in the business, <laughs> and I can even help you uh, with it going forward if that's what you want to do. I'll give him the same response that happened to me four, almost five years ago when I was somewhat trying to fake my way through it. it, it people read right through it. Seasoned folks will read right through it and see you coming. And if you don't adjust, you can kind of ruin yourself. Uh, but if you adjust, there's still there's still redemption opportunity for you. that call and again this was a live call uh, basically I can use this as training for a number of different things to be frank but this was basically 
wanting to, in this particular uh, video, I wanted to express the importance of not being ashamed and getting a mentor or coach. Because uh, you, 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 listen, I don't necessarily want to hear from that guy again, uh, unless he's coming to me for help, you know, but otherwise don't call me talking about this because I already know you don't know what you're doing. Time is money. I don't have that kind of time. A lot of folks in this arena don't like wasting time. It was a tire kicker type situation. Uh, the only positive thing uh, that was in this call was that my mentee had a great training opportunity. And he really appreciated uh, handling the call. And of course, I was, wasn't mean to the guy. You know, I, I know it, that does happen out there. Um, but listen, you know, as a, if you knew, be careful on the leads that you're calling in on, especially if you're not direct to seller. If you're direct to seller, uh, some of that could work because most sellers that are motivated won't know what you're talking about anyway. And, but I would still encourage you to get help so you don't get trapped up in anything that will get you legally sued and uh, liable for something. Get help. There's nothing wrong with it. I know you may think you've learned some stuff by watching some videos, whatever, but there's nothing like the power of somebody holding your hand, giving you that real time, minute by minute, you know, walkthrough on how to do it properly. Stop trying to fake the knowledge. Stop trying to fake what you think you've heard. And because it makes you look bad. And when you're dealing with somebody that's real, we're going to see as either fake with no credibility, or there's something wrong with your integrity. There's something wrong with your ethics. And nobody wants to do business with somebody that's crooked. Nobody wants to do business with someone that's trying to take advantage of them or speed them through something or, you know, that's crooked. So neither one of those personas are good and you're not going to fast track your way through it. There's nothing on this planet that substitute time nor experience. You can't take time out and substitute it with something else, nor can you take experience out and substitute it with something else. Those things are absolute. And in this business, you need both. And so this guy obviously had no clue of what he was, you know, doing, which it's okay. That's where you, you got to start somewhere. It's not a problem, but it would have been better off had he had a mentor to probably not be concerned about this particular lead or gotten his mentor on the phone, which my guess would be that mentor wouldn't have gotten on the phone because he knew this lead wasn't uh, the, the right thing to do. So essentially, this wasted everybody's time. And that's, that's a nine-minute call. And I know I've spoke through a lot of it, but it's really a nine-minute call. Nine minutes of our life that we won't get back. <laughs> also, um, I want to let you know that it's important to be able to receive information, to be humble and, you know, re remain humble and coachable and teachable so you can learn. And so with that being said, uh, you can check out uh, some of the other video content that I put out there. If you like this particular content as well, please like uh, this video and also subscribe to, to this channel. Uh, I'm giving you real world, real time, uh, and hopefully a different angle than just the glitz and glam of real estate. I'm, I'm past all of the HGTV and, oh, you can get wealthy and all this stuff in real estate. I'm past all that. That's not what I'm all about. I'm all about the real world of how it works. This is a grind. It takes work. You need to learn your craft. And uh, there, there, there's a lot of areas that's not pretty. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, you get a $100,000 check. Yeah, that's cool. But you don't know what went behind uh, to, to be able to get to that note. By the way, I do have a $100,000 check on show you. So um, I want to let you know that uh, if you like, you can you know, book 
book some time with me. Uh, I do. Uh, I can give an hour if you like to book some time with me, and I can give you everything I got in an hour to help you get your business off the ground. Uh, you can also subscribe to my private coaching group. Uh, should be some links uh, within the description uh, somewhere around this video. Um, and if you really, really want uh, some one-on-one -on -one hand holding, I do offer uh, uh, you know hand holding coaching program that can walk you through to getting your first or second deal. Um, I, I still have my own business, so I can't do everybody at one time. But at the time of this video, I do have some 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 availability for more uh, in addition to the handful that I already have. And so if you want to do that, again, book some time with me and we can kind of talk about that. So hopefully you find this video uh, helpful, knowledgeable. Worst case, it was entertaining. <laughs> so I uh, would love uh, to continue to put this type of information out. Let me know in the comments if that's what you would like as well or if this was a waste of your time, and I won't do it because it would be a waste of my time if you don't like it. Uh, so until next time, i see you at the top uh, because the bottom sure is crowded. <laughs> God bless Sammy Du, the real estate guru, out.